It's the third weekend in October and in Acadia Parish, that means the International Rice Festival is back. And setup is underway for the 84 year old tradition and our Abby Breidenbach is live in the middle of all the action. Hi Abby. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Katie. Yeah, we're so excited to be live here in downtown Crowley for the 84th International Rice Festival. Now joining us this morning, we have the president and the queen. Could it get any better? So this is the president of this year's fest festival, Mr. Gilles Perron. Good morning. Good morning to all our students. And then we have Queen Jimmy. You are the 83rd International Rice Festival yes, queen. So you're going to be giving up your crown in just a few days here. Yes, Saturday morning we have our queen's pageant. And then we have our big grand parade that starts at 2. And after that, it's I'm done. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so what, what's been the best part, the best experience of being the queen for two years? For two, oh, it's so, this is just so exciting to finally have a festival. I got to travel a little bit throughout my reign. Uh, COVID, unfortunately, shut down a lot of things. So I'm really excited that we're able to have our festival today. And I'm sure you're excited to have the festival back too. We were talking a little bit about the pin that you made and you said you'd made it in anticipation of the Olympics. So, you know, things have changed over the last year for you too. Well, yeah, uh, well, uh, since we had the Olympic, you know, I had thought about rice grain of champions. So uh, it was perfectly fine, but it is perfectly fine still this year as well. Absolutely. So you have an interesting history with the Rice Festival. You said you came here to Crowley 30 years ago and you've been involved ever since. Yes, uh, I came here with uh, the Coto Field when they were doing the twinnings between all the cities. And uh, I met my beautiful wife and I've been here ever since. So she had a uh, gymnastic school and every year our little ones were performing at both platforms to, for the the joy of, of the older spectators. Okay, so people who might be watching right now, some of them this year might be the first year they come to the Rice Festival, which I'm sure you remember your first year coming to the Rice Festival. What do people have to check out? What do they have to experience if they're coming out this weekend? Well, everything the Cajun Way has. You know, good food, good company, good music, and of course, good adult drinks, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. And all that fun. It kicks off tonight, right? 6.30. Do we know who's going to be on this stage, you guys? We're going to have Bag of Donuts. Um, we're going to have Cupid. We're going to have um, Chubby Carrier. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so that's tonight, you guys. And then throughout the weekend, there's going to be music. There's going to be food. There are rides which we might be showing you a little later on this morning so you're going to want to stay with us for all that thank you guys so much for joining us this morning thank you, well, thank you for having us all right guys we're going to send it back to you but we'll be here in crowley all morning so stay with us in just a little bit